So the other day, I was properly deep in the YouTube rabbit hole <laughs> when it got recommended this video from seven years ago. You've probably already seen it, but if you're not slave to the algorithm yet, basically it's about this bike that has inverted steering. You turn the handlebar left and the thing goes right. The lad speaks about how it is impossible to learn to ride it if you already know how to ride a normal bike. My man literally says, your brain cannot handle this. But you see, I don't have a brain. So this had me thinking. Is this the same with cars? Or can you actually learn how to drive with inverted steering? Keep in mind that it took bro eight months to learn to ride that bike. Well, I'm giving myself just one hour. You may think that this is simply impossible, but there are two factors that make me believe that this isn't really the case. The main one being that we are removing balance out of the equation. You see, on a bike, steering is the combination of two things. The angle of the pivoting front wheel relative to the rear wheel and the angle of the bike relative to the ground. Basically, you can't just turn the handlebar to change direction, but you have to combine that with lean. Unless you want two broken ribs, a dislocated shoulder and a fat medical bill if you're American. But on a car, it's as easy as turning the circle in the direction you want to go. And then we also have to take into consideration that I am somewhat oh of a God, genius myself. Fuck? Anyways, this is how I'm going to scientifically measure my progress and see how much time it takes me to learn how to drive inverted. I'm gonna set a lap around a racetrack using regular steering and then attempt to get close or maybe even beat that time with inverted steering. Before commencing what I expect to be a fairly painful experiment, I am proud to announce that from today, subscribing to the channel will earn you 69 social credits. And with this extremely important announcement out of the way, it is time to set the benchmark lap with regular steering. And so guys, we are here at Monza, the racetrack where we, where I will be performing the experiment. But there's a problem. I don't have a car. So I tried asking my buddy uh, Gian Piero delle Palle if he could lend us one of his vans back there. But he said, Ma sei scemo. Secondo te, io sono davvero così coglione a prestarti uno dei miei luridi camper di merda che a malapena stanno in piedi e puzzano di cipolla per uno dei tuoi esperimenti del cazzo? Sai moglie, non te lo si dice abbastanza. Quindi sento che hai compito mio ricordarti che sei quasi inutile quanto i camion della spazzatura a Napoli. Adesso smettila di cagare il cazzo. E continua con questo video sfigato. So since he's being a bitch, I'm gonna ask you guys to lend me your car. This is a 1985 Honda Acti. But you see, it's not your average Honda Acti. This boy has 500 horsepower while weighing just under 700 kilograms. This thing is literally lighter than your mom. Watch this. Holy fuck! Oh, 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 oh. Io non so perché faccio queste cose. Onestamente, this thing is so weird to drive. <laughs> and the sound. Look at look at the brakes. Oh. This is gonna be challenging. So you know what? I'm gonna give myself five laps to get the best possible time with you know regular old steering. Oh shit, it's literally a jet engine. So before setting a record-breaking lap time at Monza, let me answer a few questions you may have. This is a set of Corsa on PC with a couple of mods. Everything should be in the description, if I remember. And uh, my setup, I think I made a video. I mean, I did make a video on it. But basically, Fanatec CSLDD with 80 newton meters of force feedback. Shit. And yeah, that was everything you should know. Ugh. Madonna, Madonna, Madonna. And this lap time is already. F I did uh, use that. Yes. Oh, I made it, I made it, I made it alive. 
no, 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 no. Oh, 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 what the fuck? Oof. Okay, so I'm ready for the actual, you know, first good lap. I'm in the most performing camera, as you can see. Dirty windshield wiper cam is the best one. Everybody knows this. I think I'm going way too quick. No, 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 no. Recovered, recovered. Oh, ma che palle! È impossibile sta roba! Brake, brake! What the fuck is going on with my engine? Okay, okay. Oh, it's looking, it's looking good! No! No! We may be able to finish this one. Oh, yes, 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 we're good. I think we've stopped enough. Come on, 240? Hey, that's actually pretty fucking good. Come on, one more lap. No, you just have to spam the brick and the clutch to stop. It's pretty easy, I think. This is actually working. New driving technique by Muya, yes. I'm literally removing pieces of my overpriced steering wheel. Fuck. This is going to be the real high speed test. Oh, it's actually working, what? This may be better than last time. Come on, car, come on. Oh, it's 2.35, I think. That's it, 2.33, time to beat. I can now smash into that wall. So guys, me being me, of course, I did not test this before doing it and look at this check this out what i've not driven this yet this is legit a hundred percent of my first reaction so in theory i should turn this way to go that way what the f okay this is going to be trippy so i need to turn towards the wall to go away from the wall okay okay like, even the micro-adjustments. Uh, oh, my, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I can get the hang of this. So I'm not gonna go too fast now. So in theory here, it's just a matter of... Thinking inverted. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! I just took, not one, two corners properly. I think this may actually be doable, okay. What the fuck? <laughs> no. oh. So let's try setting one lamp. So the, the main issue I'm having is like micro adjustments, you know? Because cornering, at the end of the day, you can think that through. But you know, as for bikes, it's not like when you're riding, you keep your, uh, your handlebars straight. You do micro adjustments. And I think that was the brain melting part. I know, especially with... With this thing, this is not the best car to do it. So the goal now is one full lap. I need to get one full lap. Guess not. Ah, oh, it's so hard. You know what? I am going to try disabling the force feedback. Let's see if this makes it better. I don't know. No, it's actually worse. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's see. Ugh. No! Ah, oh, this hurts my head so much. Where do I need to turn? Even though we're mowing the lawns, I think this is the furthest we have gotten with. Inverted steering so far. So now I'm gonna have to turn right to go left. Please don't flip, please don't flip. Okay, we may actually be able to complete this lap. No, we're going way too fast. Gotta stop, I gotta stop. Not like that! 
Madonna, vaffan. At this point, I was almost about to give up. But then this happened. Oh! I think I got it. I think I got it. To counter steer, I have to steer in the direction the car is leaning towards. This may have a chance of saving us. The biggest problem is when it flips. And I think I know why. I'm pretty sure that I've like flipped the pigeon so many times that it is now embedded in my DNA. Like that motion of correcting a flip, it's now part of me. And yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be hard getting rid of that. And guys, definitely try this for yourselves and tell me about your experience in the comments. <laughs> I'm actually shocked at how hard this is! What the fu- We're alive, we're alive, we're alive. We may actually be able to start a lap now. So break, 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 break. Use the wall, yes. After 17 minutes, we will be able to finally start a lap. We have 40 minutes to beat that time. No! We made it back to the starting line. Okay. <laughs> I hope, I hope I can stop without dying. Please land, please land, please land. Oh my f***ing god, yes! <laughs> yes! Okay, we are making it through the first chicane. Okay, a little cut there. Um. Uh, no, 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 no. I always lose it here. Okay. Now I'm gonna slow down. Don't flip, don't flip. Don't flip, don't flip! No! Yes, 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 yes. Come on guys, the first lap. Hey, not too bad, not too- under three minutes. Oh, that's not too bad actually. We can do a lot better. So I'm gonna turn force feedback. Shut up. Force feedback is back now. I'm, try I'm trying to understand it. So I'm gonna try breaking with my previous working technique. Come on. I think I may have got it. Come on, it's looking so good. Where do I steer? Come on, oh this is looking very good, holy f And we even spun out. Not again, not again, not again, not again. No, 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 no. Oh, guys, what? Hey, yo, we got really close. And that's the closest I've ever got. Anyways, in conclusion, I'm quite confused about this. To double check, I actually did another lap with regular steering without spinning out eight times, and I got a 224 which puts my best lap with inverted steering only 10 seconds off. Still, I don't think I mastered driving with inverted steering, but one thing's for sure, cars are superior to bikes. <laughs>